I'm gonna go for the poison and then I'm gonna evil bomber the bridge and this should be good game. Even if this doesn't take the tower. Wait, it, it might with the guards. Come on, guards, 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 hit it. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be doing a best of five against Muhammad Light. In my opinion, he is the best player of all time and obviously currently. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. In the first match here, I am playing with this Goblin Drill Cycle deck. I do think that this Goblin Drill Cycle deck is the best quick cycle deck in Clash Royale right now. There's not really that many great quick cycle decks anymore because of the Dagger Duchess, but there's still a few of them. I'm going to poison here on the graveyard. Okay. I mean, Giant Skeleton Graveyard, it's kind of like an offbeat, weird off-meta deck, but Muhammad Light does actually create a lot of different types of decks all the time, and he usually ends up making them popular too. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Drill here. I won't Evo Bomber. I'll just go for the Ice Spirit with it. Okay. I don't want to go too aggressive because I didn't know his whole deck. Okay, I'm going to Evo Bomber here on the guards because even if he does predict it, he can't punish me. Yeah, I'll just kill the Little Prince with the log there. Nice. See, that's what I mean. Evo Bomber is so strong. You can usually not even get punished for it, even if they predict you. <laughs> it's actually way too broken, man. I really wish Evo Bomber got a nerf, but for some reason, Supercell hasn't been too great on their balance changes recently. Okay. So he also has the Tesla. Oh, I do get a Goblin Stab right there. Nice. Those Goblin Stabs are also always really important against Graveyard decks, because it's really hard to break through a good Graveyard player's defense. I'll Tesla up high for the Little Prince. I just want to figure out the entire deck. I'm going to Goblin Drill here again as well. It seems just like a gr regular Graveyard deck, but with Giant Skeleton instead of the Evo Knight, I guess. And then he'll have the Evo Zap, Evo Tesla. That Evo Bomber is putting in work against that Little Prince. See, guys, that's why I think that the nerf to the Evo Bomber wasn't even actually a nerf. Evo Bomber is so strong on defense now, taking care of the entire Giant Skeleton plus Little Prince push basically by herself. I'll get the Mighty Miner down in the back for the three-card cycle. Okay, I'll Goblin Drill too. I want to put it here because I feel like it's kind of unpredictable because it's going into the Tesla. Hmm. Nice guards by him. He just guards behind it immediately to get... Uh, the full surround no matter what oh evo tesla then poison and then I'll also skellies I, I like the skellies right here just because whenever the graveyard does get hits through a poison it's only on those little inside tiles so if you block them usually you'll take no damage but him knowing that he goes for the evo zap okay i'm gonna drill plus log here for the guards oh really good defense actually very well played he's actually slowly catching up in damage but that small lead i got in single elixir is helping me out a lot I'll block the bridge here with the Mighty Miner. He might just go for the Guards plus Zap or Guards plus Ice Spirit, but... Okay, yeah, Zap plus Guards. I'm fine with that. I'll just log here and then Evo Bomber for defense again. <laughs> it's so good at splashing onto the Little Prince. The Little Prince is already dead, and same with the Giant Skeleton. Wow, that's actually pretty broken, man. I do need to keep up the pressure, though. He's actually catching up pretty f quickly. I'm gonna go for the Drill Bomber Ice Spirit here, then I'll pre-log for the Guards. Oh, nice! Really nice log right there. Maybe I could try to get a bomber bounce. Okay, wait, I'm going to drill here and then go for the Evo Bomber. He has to block that with the Tesla or the LP. Okay, I'm going to Ice Spirit here. If that Ice Spirit jumped, I actually could have logged the Tesla to death. I'm fine with this, though. That's some good pressure. Maybe I could get a Goblin hit or two. Aw, oh, all right. I'm going to log. Just take care of the right side lane. And then I have the Mighty Miner as well. I'll put it low in case he tries to predict me with the guards. I'll Goblin drill and then poison plus skeletons for the graveyard again. It's all up to the graveyard RNG right now, I think. Well, maybe I could actually break through right here because the, the, the Dagger Duchess is kind of out of ammo right now. It doesn't have any daggers left. I'm going to log here. Oh, he didn't predict it. Okay, wait. That's one hit. Two hits. That's actually some really big damage right there. That's very important. I'm up like 700 damage now. I'll go for the bomber and then I can Tesla too. Okay, hold up, guys. I think I actually might have this one. I'm just going to Mighty Miner then Ice Spirit. Because my Dagger Duchess has all eight shots... I don't think I'll take any graveyard damage. Maybe one hit at the worst. Oh, yeah, no hits. Okay, I'm going to poison log here for the guards. Perfect. Nice prediction. My dagger duchess does have some ammo. I'll go for the Evo Tesla here for the graveyard. Skellies as well, and then I think I'll log, and I should be all right. I'm taking a little bit of damage. Wait, Evo Bomber. Oh, the Evo Bomber. Let's go. Really, really good. Okay, I'm going to go for the drill plus bomber here, and I think I win this. My dagger duchess has ammo in it again, but I'll poison just to be safe. I don't want to take any risks. I'll pre-log for guards. Smart on him for not using them, but I'll just go for the Goblin Drill again. I'm going to go for the Poison, and then I'm going to Evo Bomber the Bridge, and this should be good game. Even if this doesn't take the Tower. Wait, it, it might with the Guards. Come on, Guards, 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 hit it. Okay, wait, Skellies, Ice Spirit. 
then I think I can just go for the Mighty Miner and I'm fine. Let's go! Evo Bomber splashes the tower. Really good win right there. I'll see you guys in the second match. Alright, in the next match here, I will be playing Pump Bow. I feel like Pump Bow is actually a really solid cycle deck as well. Also, to be honest, it's one of my favorite decks as well. I'll just go for the Knight in the back here. By the way, I think me and Muhammad Light will be switching up the game modes as well, just to make it not too stale, because I feel like the meta in Clash Royale right now is a little bit boring and stale, so I did um ask him if it was okay if we played some like other game modes, and he said, yeah, it was fine. He doesn't really mind. He just wants to have a good time. Okay, wait, I'm going to Ice Spear here. Wait, what? Okay, I guess all Skelly's here to block the E-Drag. Huh? Wait, how is that E-Drag killing it? Okay, wait, at least my Knight saved me right there. I did take quite a bit of damage, but I do get my Elixir Collector down. He's probably gonna... Oh, no, that... I have to ignore that. I want to pump up again. I feel like the only way I'll win is by getting, like, a really big Expo connection, so I'm gonna let that damage go. It might be risky because he might just try to full defend for the rest of the match, but maybe I could break through. Because I feel like if I just defend everything, then I'll just lose no matter what. I'm going to Expo here. I know he's going to Battle Healer and then Evo Bomber me. But if I Tesla early like this, right, he's going to go for the Evo Bomber up top middle right here. I'm going to Ice Spirit predict it and then log. Perfect prediction. Log. And the Bomber gets no damage on my Expo. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect. Dude, I knew he'd do that because that's what I do all the time to Expo players. I always just make sure to... Evo Bomber, their Tesla, and then it will also spa uh, splash on the Expo too. Wait, I'm going to go for the Expo here in the middle. I think this could actually work out super well. Hopefully my Dagger Touches could reload. I have the Evo Knight here, and then I have Skeletons as well. If I went for the Expo immediately, by the way, guys, he did have enough for Golem, I think. I'm going to go for the Log here. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to Ice Spirit here. I'm not going to get any damage, unfortunately. Maybe I could just activate my King Tower. Luckily enough for me, this is on the lane where my tower has a lot of HP. I'll Expo here to pressure, and then I'll activate my King Tower because he's going to Golem anyways. I want to try to outcycle the Golem and go in for an Expo push. I think I could pump up, actually, in the middle of this defense. I think because I pumped up, he will too. Okay, I'm going to log here. Yeah, he does pump up. And because he pumped up, it will be a very easy defense. I'll just Skelly's here. He lets the Golem push go. I'm going to pump up again. I have three pumps down right now. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm going to Knight here, then Log. Oh, no, wait. My Dagger Duchess is actually costing me a lot right now. I'm going to Ice Spirit. I'm going to Skellies. Wait, I actually might have just choked. I'm going to Knight here. Okay, wait, I'm fine. I'm fine. That was not the greatest tornado right there. Let's go. I kind of got saved right there. I'm going to Ice Spirit, and man, I'm actually still defending. My Dagger Duchess is not being too nice today. Oh, bad Bomber. Wait, actually, it wasn't a bad Bomber. It killed my LP. Oh, okay, wait, those were bad Barbs. Oh, wait, he's going to E-Drag, right? He's going to E-Drag, so I'll Tesla all the way over here to space it out so the E-Drag doesn't splash my Tesla. And now that Tesla could kill the E-Drag. All Skeletons here as well. Then Ice Spirit for the healer. Oh, no. If that Spirit got down, maybe that Expo could have gotten a lot of damage. All right, I'm going to go for the Pump, and then I want to Expo immediately, I think. If I expo immediately, he has to golem, then maybe I could try to outcycle him. Thing is, I am up 300 damage. His only spell is Tornado, so maybe if I play perfect defense and defend, I could also win. But it's going to be really hard when he stacks up uh, E-Drags and Healers. E-Drag and Healer are both unkillable for me. I'm going to Ice Spirit here, then go for the Skeletons. That Tesla sniping the E-Drag is actually huge. going to pump up again. Guys, you just need to keep pumping with this deck. It's really the only way to kind of win, I think. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Expo here on the right side. Come on, man. Don't have enough for Golem. Oh, dude. I think it's over now. I think at this point, he's just going to go E-Drag Healer, and I'm going to lose. Oh, that was actually a really good Evo Bomber, too. It's splashing on my Expo. Okay, I'm going to Log here. I'm going to Ice Spirit. Man, he's too good, actually. I'm going to Little Prince here. Wait, that Evo Bomber splashed my tower. No, the E-Drag didn't get pulled. Oh, I'm down in damage now. It's over, guys. It's It's so over. It doesn't even matter now what happens because I'm down in damage. I'll never be able to get the damage back. I'm going to log here. Yup. GG's, guys. <laughs> Rip. I don't think there's even a point to try to defend this, so I'll just see you guys. Wow. Yeah. In the next match. Bro had 10 Barbarians down on the field. All right, guys. You know we had to do it. Against Muhammad Lay, I had to play log bait. <laughs> I feel like it's one of my only chances, honestly. It is my best deck, obviously, so I'm just going to go for the Goblin Braille here. Try to figure out what he's playing. Also, I do really like this log bait deck, actually. It works decently well against Dagger Duchess. I'm not going to say it's good against Dagger Duchess because I don't think a log bait deck will ever be good against Dagger Duchess, but I feel like it works the best against the Dagger Duchess, and you have chances too. I'm not exactly sure what he's playing, so I'll just go for my knight in the back here. He could actually be playing... Okay, he's playing Pekka Ram Rider Lightning. 
Pekka Ram Rider Lightning is actually going to be really hard for me. I feel like only because of the Dagger Duchess. Because Zap actually does fully counter Goblin Barrel now with the Dagger Duchess. It's really unfortunate, actually, that uh, Zap counters the Goblin Barrel now. But I think maybe if I play perfect and he makes some mistakes, I could win. I'm going to Goblin Gang here to push that to the Inferno Tower. <laughs> Dude, Ram Rider is so crazy, man. It just, like, gets pushed no matter what. I don't know why, but Ram Rider just always runs after buildings. It hates going towards the tower. I'm going to Goblin Barrel again here. Ooh, he goes for the knight. Man, he never misses the Goblin Barrels. I actually don't think I've really ever seen him miss a Goblin Barrel. All right, I'll knight here. Thing is, I think if he plays perfect defense, I'm literally just going to get spell cycled and he'll never play the P.E.K.K.A. I can princess on that though. I think... It's possible for me to win, but it's not very good. I don't know. I'm going to log there. I'm not going to worry about the matchup, and I'm just going to try to win. <laughs> okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang here for the Baby Dragon. I love going Goblin Gang like this for the Baby Dragon. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, wait, he has Evo Zap. Oh, no, I have the Skellies here. All right, I'm good. <laughs> Man, he actually almost caught me off guard. I'm going to Goblin Barrel, then Infernal Tower. I wonder if Evo Knight would have full countered that Ram Rider if the Dagger Duchess had full charges. I know it wouldn't have full countered it there because it didn't have all the charges, but I just wonder. Man, the Dagger Duchess is way too broken. Oh, Princess the back. <laughs> Dude, he keeps trying to predict my princesses at the bridge with like Knight the middle, LP the bridge, all this kind of stuff. He peckes the back. Interesting. I'll barrel. My Evo Knight will win the Evo Knight battle because I have the Dagger Duchess on my side. And look at that, man. That's so sad to see Zap taking out the entire Goblin Barrel. Rest in peace, Goblin Barrel, man. Okay, I can go for the Inferno Tower up top here just to space it out for my other Princess. And then I'll go Skellies here to keep the Princess alive. Log as well on the LP because I know he's going to pop the ability. Goblin Gang to keep the Princess alive. All right, nice. And then, dude, the Dagger Duchess is just putting in so much work. I'll Inferno Tower over here so he can't get a good Lightning. I feel like that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to Lightning both my Princesses and the Inferno Tower. Nice. He's going to Baby Dragon. There's nothing I can do. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go for the poison here on top of the baby dragon. My princesses will die, but at least I get a free poison. He might actually go for a lightning on my tower. I'll princess the back. I just, if he catches any princess at the bridge, I think I'm guaranteed to lose. I'll just knight, and then I can go for a goblin barrel. This is going to be a spell cycle match, man, because his defense is too good for me to ever hit the tower with, like, a goblin barrel. And, like, I don't know. He just plays too solidly. Okay, I'm going to poison the tower since he went for the, the lightning. That lightning just shows me it's going to be a spell cycle game. Oh, Goblin Gang on the right, then Goblin Barrel on the left. His Dagger Duchess is actually getting kind of pressed, but it's not enough. I'm up like 15 damage right now. I'll Night Block the bridge, and then I think I could Log Skellies to counter the Ram Rider. Man, since when is Log Skeletons full counter to Ram Rider? That just looks wrong. <laughs> oh, the Evo Zap, man. I feel like the Evo Zap is the only reason he's actually ahead in damage. I do get a Goblin Barrel tick, though. Okay. Wait, this is so winnable, actually. I'm, like, barely behind. The only problem is the three-card cycle and then also the Evo Zap. So every third Zap will get, like, 150-something damage, 160 damage. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang, Goblin Barrel, and then I can go for the Skellies Inferno Tower for the Baby Dragon. I just need to keep up this momentum while the Dagger Duchess is low on daggers. A log here to retarget that to the Baby Dragon, then Barrel again. And since that doesn't have full daggers, Zap won't full counter it. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang. Oh, Ram Rider did it, though. Okay, I'm going to Evo Skellies. And then he has to Barb Barrel, right? Perfect. I can Poison, and then I can Goblin Barrel again. And then, oh, wait. Okay, he Little Princed early. I'm going to wait. I'm going to Goblin Barrel now, and then I can Princess the Bridge, Snipe the LP. Oh, he knew. He knew. Wait, Barrel, Barrel, Barrel. Okay, I got two hits. Poison. Nah, the Evo Zap costed me, man. I'm going to Barrel. He's just going to Lightning, and it's over. It's so over, guys. I'm going to Log. I'm going to Skellies. Poison again. Oh, man, if if he didn't have the Evo Zap, I feel like I could have won, actually. Or if I had the Rocket, I'm going to Barrel again, and uh, it's just going to be over. I'm going to Log. Wait, the Goblin Barrel got a hit. Wait, I think I won. Please, no Lightning. Oh, what the? Bro, how did I win? Wait, if he LP'd on the Barrel instead of in the middle, I would have won. No way. Let's go. I'll take that, man. All right, guys. Me and Muhammad Light are going to be playing Mega Draft. Mega Draft is his favorite game mode, so... We're going to be playing Mega Draft here. I'll take the Little Prince. I think the Little Prince is just super, super solid and too good to pass up on, honestly. The nice thing about Mega Draft and what I find refreshing about it is that there is no evolution. So I do kind of like it, honestly, just because of how dominating the evolutions are in the game right now and how, like, pressing they are. So I feel like it's just, like, a nice...
breath of fresh air. He goes for the Magic Archer. I'm honestly not surprised. Magic Archer is his number one pick in this game mode, usually. Not every time, but he actually taught me that during the Mega Draft season. He always takes Magic Archer just because you can always get damage with it no matter what the win condition is. And usually it's just like really hard to kill and it's just like a lot of mind games. I'm going to take the Poison since it only it is the only big spell on the board. And then I kind of want to go for the Arrows, but I think I could also go for the Fisherman. Fisherman is really solid in this too, especially because there is a Hog Rider. There's Giant, E-Giant, Goblin Giant. So I feel like it kind of eliminates most of the win conditions for him. And I feel like the only thing he really has now is like maybe Royal Hogs or Miner. But Miner is not really that good now because of the Dagger Duchess and Tower Troops are allowed in the Mega Draft and Triple Draft mode or even regular draft. All right, I kind of expected him to either take Snowball or Arrows. Does take Snowball. And then there are the Royal Hogs. Yeah, I was kind of sure that he'd take Royal Hogs. If he didn't take them, I was probably going to, honestly. Now I'm in a weird spot. I think I could go for like royal ghost and giant skelly maybe i'm not sure yeah i'm gonna take royal ghost royal ghost should be good just it's really really solid against dagger duchess it's, it's solid against royal hogs i don't want to take the valkyrie just because i don't have like a snowball or anything to pair with it and then royal ghost also does turn invisible too since royal ghost turns invisible magic archer won't be that good against it Okay, I'll take Giant Skelly too. Giant Skelly is really good against the Dagger Duchess Tower. And by the way, guys, a cheat code in this mode is that if you guys look above where it says opponent's turn, you guys can see what tower troop they have. So you can pick accordingly based off of what cards that they do end up having or tower troop they end up having, I mean. Okay, he goes for the Skellies just for the quick cycle. It is also just like really solid against Royal Ghost and stuff like that. Just a nice card to have in your deck. He might go Inferno. Oh, he does go Inferno Tower. Yeah, because I was thinking about going Goblin Giant, but since I, I don't know, Inferno Tower is just really, really good. I'll take the Goblin Cage to have an, another Royal Hogs counter. And then I'm thinking about going Miner here. I'm really thinking about Miner. Like maybe like Miner and... Oh, Zap, just Miner and Zap. Wait, I'm going to take the Zap first just because I don't want him to think, oh, if I, he has no reset for Inferno, I win. So I'm going to take the Zap here. I don't know what he'll take here. I'm thinking maybe like, okay, he took Monk. I was thinking maybe like Mini Pekka. Monk probably just for the three card cycle. And also Monk is really good against the Little Prince and Dagger Duchess too, because you get so much damage from the tower. All right. I'm going to take the Miner here. No really else, like nothing else to really think about. I don't know what he'll even take here, man. I th I'm thinking Mini Pekka still. Yeah, probably Mini Pekka. Or maybe uh, Skeleton Army just to bait Zaps out for the spell bait aspect. Spear Goblins, wow. I really didn't expect Spear Goblins. Maybe he only took Spear Goblins just because it's a cheap cycle. It's just like nice to put at the bridge. I'm not exactly sure. All right, I'm going to go for the Miner here to start off the match. See what he wants to do. Okay, he goes Snowball. Wow, okay. Snowball full counters Miner with the Dagger Duchess apparently. I did not know about that interaction. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Dude, this is one of my favorite emotes, by the way, that princess emote right there. <laughs> okay, I'll just go for the LP in the back. I, I need to focus up against Muhammad Light. Okay, I can Fisherman here just to pull the Monk out of the tower's range because I don't want him to get the Monk ability off. <gasps> no way! Oh, bro, that's going to get, like, so much damage. Look at all that damage, guys. That was, like, 300 damage right there. 300 damage is crazy. Okay, I'm just going to go for a Poison here. He... Eh, I'm not going to poison. I'll just let this go, honestly. I think if I poison, it'd be bad. If I poison, he'll piggies. I do have ghost plus cage if he wants to piggies with this. I think he will piggies with this last second. Oh, ghost? Yeah, he does. I'm going to go for the goblin cage now. And yeah, that should be a zero damage defense right there. Unless the magic archer somehow connects, but it doesn't look like it will. Oh, minor here. And then I could also zap on the inferno tower just to retarget it. Yeah, he had the monk last second. That was so awkward. <laughs> okay, this time I will go for the fisherman early. Just so he can't get the last second, like, monk ability off before the fisherman pulls it. I'm going to fisherman all the way up top here. Oh, what? That was actually really good. That was such a good prediction by him. And then he gets the 300 damage again. I've never seen that before. That's so smart, man. Really, really smart by Mo. Man, there's the... I mean, that's one of the reasons why he's the best players in the world. I never even considered that. And I'm usually a guy who makes a lot of predictions myself. All right. I do think I can come back though. I think double I think double and triple elixir are better for me. The longer the game goes, the easier it should get for me because he can't kill the little prince. 
And then the tanks start stacking up as well. When the tanks start stacking up, it could be really difficult for him because the Dagger Duchess can uh, only target one thing at a time and it um, starts to run out of daggers. I'm going to Miner here and then I have Zap as well. Maybe I could get the Giant Skelly on the tower. Maybe? Oh yeah, he piggies to pull it back. That was smart. But at the same time, I think he was just scared. I'm going to Cage here in case he tries to march her. He did try to march her. Um, I'm going to Ghost here just to block the Magic Archer. Please don't hit the tower. Please don't hit the tower. Oh man, that's like two shots. Three... What a good monk ability as well. He, he did that monk ability so the marcher got the extra shot. Okay, I'm going to zap here. His spear gobs are stacking up, bro. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. I think I lost, man. I believe in the comeback, though. I'm down quite a lot of damage. I think I want to go opposite lane, though. I think that's one of my mistakes is trying to play same lane as him. Alright, I'll LP here. He'll probably earthquake me. Or maybe even magic archer. I'll predict it with the cage. Man, I actually can't catch him right now. He's playing so well. Okay, I'm just going to go for the giant skelly here for the monk so it doesn't cross the bridge. And then I'll go for the ghost. Oh, that's going to hit my tower. I'll fisherman here to pull the magic archer away. Wait, I actually think I might be able to do something here. I have so many cards down. Okay, I'm going to little prince and then I can zap on the inferno tower. I really want to take it out early. Oh, okay, I'm going to zap now. But dude, the snowball, that was really good. Okay, I'm going to pop the little prince ability here and then I'm going to miner. Remember, guys, Miner is really good against Dagger Duchess if you can waste her bullets. Wait, those are bad piggies. I'm going to Ghost here. One thing that is good for me is his cycle gets very awkward whenever he has no Monk because I have so many, like, annoying cards like the Little Prince Miner and then, obviously, the Giant Skeleton. So if I can, like, make him waste the Monk on one of those, any of the other ones can get a lot of value. Giant Skelly is going to tank the tower forever. I just have Cage ready in case he wants to piggies. I'll Miner here. I just have to be ready in case he wants to go for the Royal Hogs out of nowhere. Just to punish me for being low on Elixir. Okay, I can a Little Prince to back here to get the three-card cycle. And then, since the Monk is out, I should be able to get a nice Giant Skeleton down. Wait, that was not the greatest Magic Archer. I can Fisherman that, I think. I'll Fisherman here in the middle. I can get a really good Poison. I'm going to Zap that as well, just for the tower damage. Here's the thing, guys. From this point on, he'll only break through with spells as long as I play well. I'm going to Miner with this. Bro, the Giant Skelly tanking for the Dagger Duchess is huge. He's going to have to Monk on it. Yep. Okay, I'm going to pop the ability here, then zap. Take everything out earlier. Royal Ghost 2. Miner, come on. Wait, I'm going to cage here for the piggies. He might get some damage here, actually. That was, those are really good piggies. I'm going to LP here as well. I'm going to Fisherman for the Magic Archer. Wait, I can win this. I'm barely down in damage. Wait, I'm nearly up. If I poison here, I'm going to be up in damage. I can Miner again. I also have the three-card cycle. I'm going to zap here as well. Predict the Skellies. Perfect. Wait, I won. I'm going to cage here. The only thing he can do is maybe get a Magic Archer. I'm going to Poison. I don't even think he could Magic Archer because of the Fisherman. Pop the ability, and then he can't Magic Archer. Let's go. GG's, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And by the way, shout out to Muhammad Light for doing this best of five with me. I really appreciate it.